What's going on, my name is Chris, and welcome back to Savoy! Let's play Twilight's The Brunescape! Uh, so first things first here, um, I made a goal to, uh, get to level 50 mining. Uh, this is all essentially in preparation to do a bunch of runecrafting. I really wanted 50 to do abyss runecrafting, because if I fail that a bunch, I will get attacked and I will die. I just unlocked sandstone there, it was actually a pretty easy way to level it up. So this sucks! Uh, de I just unlocked Dense Essence there, which I don't even really, that's like the newer to the game. Um, <clears throat> um, Rune Cat, uh, sorry, mine, mining is very uh, annoying. I got the ability to use uh, Rune Pickaxe there, which is awesome. The best, well, second best in the game. The best for a very long time. Um, and we see we just passed 50,000 experience there, which is halfway to level 50 experience wise, around 100,000. Also, my goal of to get like everything to like level 50 is also like part of this as well, because I really want to get that's kind of like my first like big goal get all my um, levels up to level 50. So there you go, level 50 mining. Perfect, I did it all by myself. And I decided I might as well get 50 agility as well. Although, you know what, actually, maybe that's a lie. Maybe I, maybe I set this as a goal because I also, <laughs> agility is also extremely helpful with room crafting. So I did that. Oh, I just unlocked a patrol there, which is a fun. One agility course, probably won't be using it though because rooftop is way better. Okay, I also got a little 50 there. Some of these clips actually lag a little bit. Oh, here's me going to the rogues den. So you'll see my inventory second here. I have all these uh, graceful marks. Let's see how many I have here in a second. So I'm just talking to Grace here. She sells things 102. So I bought the pants and I believe the hat in a second. And it lowers your um your weight. See, I was negative five kilograms there. How's that work? Magic. Um, and then I decided to do some room crafting. Uh, you'll see, well, actually, I don't really, you won't be able to see a bunch. I die, like, twice doing this. Normally, you don't die. Um, I first bought enough essence to do one level, and then I think I bought enough to get to level 50, but I don't think that clip ended up in here. I don't know what happened to it. Mysteries, which is, I think it was around 3,000 pure essence, though. Um, so it was 46 room crafting, and I think I get one more, two body wounds. Good job, myself. Good job. Um... Okay, yeah, there's level 47. Uh, and you'll see me start to uh, sell stuff here, and I'll collect it, and 463,000 gold. So what, I started with like 200-some thousand, and now I'm past 537,000 gold. So we'll see how great that, uh, um, here, uh, how great that is. Uh, here's me doing the, um, quests on stream. Um, uh, so once again, this is not live commentary. Ignore the way my face moves on that, because that's inaccurate. Uh, you'll see I did the Knight's, uh, Knight Sword quest, because it gets you 12,000 experience in smithing, which boosted it from level 17 to 31, which is a huge increase, obviously. It's very helpful. Uh, here I am getting a task, praying at the Ectofunctus uh, in Mauritania, and also another one get, going to Dragon Tooth Island. This is all, once again, for uh, quest-related stuff. So I actually really like this place. It's really peaceful, but there's literally nothing to do there. So, <laughs> besides that one quest. Uh, there you go, unlocking uh, Ghost Ahoy. I really wanted to do this quest because it unlocks the Ectophile, which is a teleport right to the Ectofunctus. And there's really not a whole lot of easy ways to... Um, to travel. I also got me level 26 prayer, so that was another big reason because it gives you prayer experience, and prayer is a uh, very expensive skill to chain, so yes, sir. And um, I unlocked protect item and Hawkeye, which is uh, increased uh, ranged accuracy as well as uh, <laughs> that's spooky. That was also a task right there um, using the active follow teleport, so good for me, good job, me. Um, and uh, I think that's it. Okay, here we go. And here's the last thing. Uh, the Black Knight's Fortress. There's a little questers carrot. I wasn't going to even do that night, but I decided to do it right off the bat. I mostly did it for the quest points, but it's also a prerequis prerequisite for another quest I do soon. Um, here I am buying some frog leather uh, armor. So what this is, is uh, it's ranged armor that I can unlock at level 25 and also level 25 defense. I already have that. And I also bought the snake skin um, set, which is fantastic for level 30 range. So that's kind of the... So I kind of bought all this stuff in preparation. I wasn't even sure if I was going to get to level 30 range doing this, but here's level 25 and equipping the frog armor. Frog leather. Never even used that before. It's the first time I've ever used frog leather. Um... And here's me, uh, there we go. I decided to range these guys for this quest, or for this Slayer task. Um, basically for the fact that I really need to level up my range. I really need that very desperately. So, there we go. There's level 30. I think that's the final level we get in this task. Level 40 Slayer! Maybe we get one more. Uh, Basks, Basilisks and Terror Dogs. They're not, they're, they're, they're annoying. <laughs> I don't like you though. 102 Hill Giants. I really like this. Okay, so here's a giant key. And what you're gonna see here is actually me. This is the first boss we ever fight in the game. I mean, I've never fought this guy before ever. Uh, I kind of made a really stupid decision of not looking ahead of time um, of how to fight him. Uh, turns out you'll see me run around here in a second because thinking that him hitting me um, 
would hurt me more. Uh, he has a, he has a max hit of 26, by the way, 23 there. So his, when he stomps the ground like that, that's his range attack, and it turns out that hits a lot more. So me running away from him, trying to like heal up and trying not to have him like hit me point blank, was actually a really stupid decision. And there's plenty of times he could have killed me. If he would have killed me, I would have lost all my stuff, and it would have really sucked. So. Yeah, so I failed. I teleported out. I wasn't able to kill him, and I was very sad. I was really hoping I'd get another Giant's Key. It's a very rare drop from the Hill Giants here. I was unable to get it. That, that boss is actually a new addition to the game, 41 Slayer. So, you know, boosting my, um, boosted my combat stats here in attempts. I also made the mistake of not having uh, his Steel Skin 15% defense increase. Um, 35 Ghouls, once again, I hate these things. They run away from you. <laughs> they get low health and another one ambushes. Like, what just happened right there? So you can't even kill the one you're trying to kill. So it doesn't count as a Slayer kill. <sighs> Ice Giants. Turns out I really like killing the Giants. Ah, Fear Spires. I don't even know anything about that. It was level 48. Uh, that's the thing that kind of sucked about this other task as well as these Ice Warriors were attacking. Crocodiles! My god, these things sucked. So I literally stopped doing Slayer because I hated it. And I decided to do some Fletching. And you'll see me actually go all the way to level 50 here. Um, so I do a lot of level 50 skills. I get level 50 uh, Fletching in this video as well as uh, two other 50s. Yeah, I won't spoil which other ones yet, but you'll see very soon here. Um, but yeah, so I made the stupid mistake of not fighting that boss with a super attack and super strength. Um, and I was very sad about it because I really was not as prepared as I could have been to fight him. And he dropped some good stuff, especially for me, such a low level where every GP still kind of counts. Although it's starting to, it's, every GP counts, so it's starting to not really mean as much to me since, you know, probably 500, and there's 775 total level. Um, I also get some like 150 total levels in this video, so it's still going up pretty frequently, but... Thieving's really the last skill where I'll get a shit ton of levels in one more video, and I don't know when I'm gonna be doing that. I didn't do it this video. Uh, but once I once I get thieving level 50, I think that's when things are gonna stop. Until I get money and I can do a bunch of herblore and prayer. I guess for herblores you're gonna see a crap ton of those, but herblore is really cheap until like level 20, and then it gets extreme, like millions of golds per like you know like 10 levels or something. And then, you know, the more levels you get, the harder it gets. So here's me just doing a bunch of fletching. What I did here is I did arrows, and then up to, like, level 30, I think, I unlocked oak. Maybe it was level 20. Hmm. Oh, yeah, here's... I got a 1 million experience if you go back in this clip a bit. Um, so I just kind of go over all my stats here to show you guys uh, what, what all my experience points were in each of them. Of course, there's some with more than others. But I thought it'd be really cool to just kind of, like, showcase what I've done here so far. Um, so there's all that. Uh... Yeah, there we go. It's really weird to me that combat isn't my highest level of this account because normally that was a thing. Well, those short bows there. Wait, really? Oh, I think I just used the remainder of my. Wait, really? What the hell, dude? Did I buy a bunch of willow logs? Maybe I bought a bunch of- Oh, you know what? No, I know what this is. I already had a bunch of willow logs in my bank. Cause I was gonna say, I started to go chop willow logs, and here's a new random event we haven't seen before. Um, the pinball arena. I gotta click on all the glowing posts. Ten in a row. If I fail, I think it resets. Maybe, so... Yikes. Glad I didn't fail that. So, once again, these... <laughs> I'm only gonna ever show each of these events once. Um, but yeah, th there it is. There's the sapphire. It's level 42 woodcutting. Yay! So I decided to go for like level 50 woodcutting next year. Um, and I was gonna use all those logs to get fletching levels as well as hopefully fire making levels. Um, there's level 44. I like hiding behind the trees. Make it feel good. Oh, undead lumberjack. Uh, if you wear the lumberjack stuff, you actually uh, get more experience in woodcutting. I've never actually gotten it before because uh, there was an annoying mini game I never wanted to do and I didn't understand how it worked. I'm gonna probably do it on this account though. But I'll have to figure out how to do that. I'd also like to do that on stream as well, so... As soon as we, um, <laughs> do our quest priority stuff, we will do that. Um, there's another fletching level. And level 800 total level there as well. I almost missed that. Um, oh yeah, here's the, the other, uh, random events we get here. Um, so all you gotta do here is she asks you to go, what comes next? And it's like, oh, a bunch of glasses. And you need three. So here's another thing. You choose three of the things. Fish out of water. Ah, so I chose two fish and it was like a harpoon or some shit. <laughs> and I examine all this stuff just to kind of show you guys. I didn't even know this was in this version of the game. This felt this was like a newer random event if I remember correctly. And I also didn't listen to her properly because I tried to go out this door but she told me to go through the blue star door. So I also got this Tomo experience. These random events give Tomo's experience. 750 agility. That's not bad to be honest. That's like three or four lamps and the Mauritania course. So yeah. So here, spoiler alert, I get uh, 50 wood cutting and fletching in this video. I already spoiled the fletching, but there's there's wood cutting. Yay! 
<clears throat> oh, and I also got an elite clue! An elite clue from doing that! That's crazy! We now have one of each of the clues you could possibly get in this game, besides master clues, which you actually get by completing other clue scrolls. So I got literally every clue scroll yet. Um, yeah, level 55 woodcutting. Uh, turns out this- well, level 54, but you'll see 55 in a second. Um, Turns out, uh, woodcutting is now the best skill on my account, which is such a noob thing. Like, every single noob in this game ever has this highest woodcutting level. And I followed and sued, apparently, because there's level 50 uh, fletching. Another 50 under my rug. What? Um, there's 55 woodcutting. Insane, man. And at that point, I was going to woodcut everything I needed for um, fire making. Uh, but I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm done. <laughs> I decided to buy the rest, especially because they're only like 10 GP each. And here, you'll see my technique here, uh, which I learned by actually like witnessing this guy. Uh, you get these teleport tabs, and then you just light, you stand right like at the fountain here. You light each of the uh, logs. I actually learned this not like by a YouTube video or something like most people do. I literally found, one day I just found like the most, um, the highest uh, leveled accounts, most like one of the most efficient accounts. I think it was Gert Jars at the time. I saw him doing this, and I was like, whoa, I'm watching the master at work. And, um, yeah, so I learned this literally from him. He taught me how to do it. So there you go. That's that's essentially the cycle. Uh, there's better ways to train fire making at this point. But at level 50, you unlock a mini game called Winter Todd, which is the best experience for fire making in the game. So I guess that's new. I've never tried that before. So I'll be trying that out once we get to level 50. Also, 800 level, level 825. We now have 1.2 million experience, which, good God, that is a lot, dude. 46. So, spoiler alert, if you haven't figured it out already, I get to level 50 fire making. So, I get three level 50s in this video, which is it's pretty good. Rune crafting will probably be next. Uh, well, maybe not next. Actually, that's not true. That's definitely not true. In fact, I get that's a lie. I get other level 50s in this video. I think one, la one last one. There we go. I decided to do a little fancy thing for level 50. We'll stand over here. Right. Level 50 strength. There you go. I'm an idiot. Of course, you get a little, another level 50 in this video. <laughs> it's strength. I do actually think that is really my um, final one. Oh, am I gonna get an attack to level 50? Um, that was a longer thing that I meant it to be. Oh, this is nothing. Just look at the one of the health bars. It's like underneath the crocodile for some reason. It's like glitched out. I don't know. I thought it was really silly. Um, hill Giants! I was very really excited. That's why I shook my ass. I was like, yes! I get another chance to get giant keys and take on the boss. Um, hilariously enough, uh, I'm just kind of going to run out of town and talk about here. I got the giant key. I, that was literally, okay, this uh, giant I'm attacking right now was actually the very last one. And so I literally went outside to attack this goblin because I didn't want to end my um, slayer task. Because if I kill the giant, I actually get bonus slayer experience. So I actually went and got monkfish for this. I normally use lobsters to heal up and super attack, strength, and defense. Yeah, I'm going all out. I also have my, uh, choosing my prayers here, I believe. Um, so, I also got Monkfish. Normally, I use Lobsters. Lobsters here, 12 HP each. Monkfish actually heals 16. So, I went all out. I was like, yeah, I'm not dying to this guy again. Um, yeah, and also turned on my prayers to, uh, uh, to increase my efficiency even more. I was like, yeah, I'm not losing this fool, this punk ass level 106 noob. So, you'll see, um, will I be able to defeat him? I don't know. Final next time in the next exciting episode of Dragon Ball Z. So I'm also going to do something different here, rushing near the end of this episode here. I want to take one final clip, but it's going to be live recording of me reacting to how much playtime I have in the accounts. So just, we have a couple more clips here off to go, but I'm going to start saying my goodbyes now, because we only have like another 30 seconds-ish. <laughs> So there you go, and he dropped a runeful helm, um, and another key, so I could find him again. I kind of regret it, I should have fought him, and you'll see me, I kind of skipped, yeah, I skipped the fight again, because like, you guys already saw it. I'm kind of regret not fighting, I wish I kind of fought it on screen, uh, on stream, that would have been more fun. Um, but yeah, here is just about the end of the stream here, of the video. Oh, this freezes, I don't know why, what happened, oh wait, no, never mind, this is Desert Lizards, the next clip freezes. I got an achievement die for killing a wizard, yay. This clip freezes next year. I don't know what happens. Uh, I got vampires, 30 vampires. So I don't know what the hell. Hey, what's going on, buddy? My name's Chris, and we're actually this is being recorded live. This is not being post commentary. Ooh, what's that guy? Oh, Iron Fam. What's up, fam? So I'm gonna react to my um, account live here. The hours I've logged to my account for the past, like I think, like 40 days now. I've been playing this game. I'm kind of scared to see. Last time I did this was like two days. I'm gonna guess it's around like probably like four days now, to be honest. For my no, no, wait, 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 wait. No, because it's only been like a week since last. So I'm gonna say, th let's gonna say three days ish. Three days, 17 hours, 19 minutes. You arrived this game uh, three, 34 days ago. My God, that means literally I've been on this account for not 24, not 48, 
Um, but oh shit, what's e plus four? Uh, pfft. <laughs> fifty? No, twenty? Twenty? Oh my god, two, four, six, seventy, uh, seventy-two hours. Seventy-two hours. Duh, that's three days. More than that. Plus seventeen. What's seventy? Seventy-two plus seventeen. Seventy-nine. Eighty-nine hours. I've been logged onto this account since I started this thirty-four days ago. So to say this game has been, you know, taking up a lot of my life is kind of. Uh, um, not, you know, is taken a lightly. I haven't, you know, I haven't, it's not insane. I don't think that's insane, but it's a lot. Anyway, so this is literally recorded live. Um, uh, I would really like to get, um, 50 rune crafting soon. Slayer, I'm working towards, I'm really trying to get 50. Actually, I'm going to get all 50 combat stats before I get, um, rune crafting. Just because I really need that defense. And fastest way to train defense by training the, uh, attack and strength first. So, when we get to that, also shout out some guy in the desert. I forgot to record it. It was really late. I didn't have my recording software up. Some guy around me gave me 20,000 gold when killing crocodiles because, uh, he came up to me and said, Hey, man, I feel really bad for you. These are terrible to kill. I was like, yeah, they really are. So, shout out to that guy. He gave me 20,000 gold. So, that was really helpful. I don't know if he would have given it to me if he realized I had, like, this much in my bank. I'm, he probably thought I had, like, you know... 5,000 gold or something like that. <laughs> so I, th I probably should have said, no, nah, it's okay. But anyways, I'm also going to probably do more fishing and cooking soon. Get those level 50 because those will be very easy to get level 50. Also level 40 fishing, you can catch lobsters, which are fun because there's a bit of a community there. Thieving, I said, I'll probably do very soon. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do about smithing still. We're going to fear some of that. Crafting is also very close. I could probably knock that out in like a couple hours. I could probably, I'm just gonna probably do more golden bracelets to be honest, because that's good profit. And the experience has slowed down a bit, but it's still not too bad. So I'll probably get the little 50 and then I'll do something else. Farming, I haven't even started yet. I'd like to start that. I'm probably not gonna, I'm probably not gonna wait for a stream to start doing that. I'll probably show you guys once I perfected a run. So I'm really waiting on nothing with farming. I could really start doing that right now. Especially now that I got the ectophile, because that was really the thing I was waiting for, the ectophile. What else? Herblore. I need some money for that, man. Herblore is extremely expensive. Same with prayer. Um, construction, I don't even want to look at, man. That's expensive as hell. Hunter sucks. <laughs> it's not hard. It doesn't cost money. It's free. To, and actually gets you money in the end. But it's a pain to deal with. Um, but besides that... I mean, ranged also it's not going to be too bad um thanks for watching you guys i appreciate it um i'll be streaming this the same day this video comes out actually so um there's that thanks for watching probably in a couple hours after this goes live so if you're watching this watch for the runescape stream where i do more questing coming up real soon thanks for watching look at that gross ass goatee um is it was a wave ah!